Hi everybody, welcome back. It's time for another morning meeting or daily calendar. Let's begin. Today is Thursday. So you wanna make your H's and put it in a circle. Thursday, Thursday, let's dance for Thursday. The date is 5-21-20 or May 21st, 2020. The day of home learning is 48. So in the ones place, always count from the back, is eight. Tens place is four. Hundreds place is zero. Thousands place is zero. Ten thousands place is zero. Hundred thousands place is zero. Did you know we could go that far? Oh, there's so much farther you could go. There are so many numbers. All right. Today, we're gonna skip count by three. So, you're gonna take your hundreds chart. And you're gonna go one, two, three. Three is the first number. One, two, three. Six is the next number. One, two, three. Nine is after that. One, two, three. Twelve is after that. One, two, three. Fifteen. One, two, three. Eighteen. One, two, three. Twenty-one. One, two, three. Twenty-four. One, two, three. Twenty-seven. One, two, three. Thirty. All right, today's money. I'm looking for $25.10. So, first we have to think about the money. What is the largest bill that we work with? It is a 20. Does 20 go into 25? You better believe it. So, we can fill in a $20 bill right there. Okay, so what's 25 minus 20? Well, you go to your handy dandy hunters chart and you count up two spaces because that's counting by 10. So that would be 10, 20. What's left? Five. Well, 20 doesn't go into five. Does 10 go into five? No, 10 doesn't go into five, but five goes into five. So you could get a $5 bill. Okay. After that, we have 10 cents. Well, quarter is the largest coin we have and a quarter is worth 25. Does 25 go into 10? No. After that is the dime. The dime is the smallest coin we have, but it's worth 10. Does 10 go into 10? You better believe it. So we're just gonna put the dime on the outside. So D. All right, so in order to get your $25.10, what you would need is one twenty, one five, and a dime. Okay, on to our clock. The time today is 7.45. So, always start with the minutes hands on the clocks. So, we're going to count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So, we're going to bring this over to the 9. So, big hand pointing exactly on the 9. Whoop, whoop. Okay, now. You see where this is positioned. We wanna make sure that this is positioned that much farther from the seven, because you want it to be at seven. So I'm gonna go to the seven and then bring it one, two, let's see how far it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. Now, normally there's five in here. So let's half that nine into four. So it would be one, two, three, four spaces. So Look at how close it is to the eight, but it's not at the eight. It's still at the seven. So we wanna make the clock right like that. So close to the eight, but not at the eight for 7.45. Kind of funky, huh? So this hand will always tell us how to position the hour hand or how to read the hour hand. Next is the weather. Today's weather is sunny and beautiful right now, but it started out chilly. Oh, I don't like when it starts out chilly. I want it to be warm, 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 but we got lucky. It's gonna get super, super warm today. It's gonna be beautiful out. Definitely a day that you wanna play outside. I think it's a day where maybe I'll let my kids take the guinea pig outside. <laughs> All right, so with that in mind, you could go outside in shorts later on today. You could definitely go outside in a t-shirt and long pants. That would be no problem. So right now it's chilly, 
but not bad. So you guess? It is 51 degrees right now, but it's gonna get to 76. Oh my goodness, it's almost summer weather. How great is that? All right, finally, on to our bonus. Today, my youngest has begged me to show you one of his games. No. The dinosaur attack game. So when I turn it on, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Hear that noise? So, the object of the game is that we lift this and steal an egg. But we don't want that dinosaur to move. So we lift again. Now, usually we roll a dice for it. Lift again. Lift again. Forgot to push him back. He is back. Okay. Lift again. Why is he not jumping? He takes his time. He's supposed again. to jump when you hear a click when you pull up the leaf. And then he jumps. So that person would have been out. Oh no! Kind of funky, huh? Definitely makes me jump every time it does that. But I thought you'd get a kick out of it. Enjoy my dinosaur game. All right. Take care. Talk to you later.